More than 22 million bracing for potentially dangerous storms and flooding. Florida's Atlantic coast was battered by an EF2 tornado with winds up to 130 miles per hour, flipping cars around, some crashing on top of each other. And we're also watching a swollen Mississippi River. It is close to Creston in Iowa, threatening several cities there. Barge traffic may be closed for weeks. In the west, near record-setting heat is causing snow to melt in California and triggering flooding. We have team coverage tonight, and we're watching the rain and flooding threats in the Northeast. Rob Marciano is standing by with the forecast. And ABC's Elwin Lopez leads us off from Iowa. Tonight, more than 22 million people on alert for severe storms and flooding. In Florida, the National Weather Service confirming an EF2 tornado in Palm Beach Gardens. Seen here lifting this car off the ground before slamming it down. This driver caught in the middle. Wind gusts of up to 130 miles per hour, flipping vehicles and flattening trees. Some cars crashing on top of each other. So far, no injuries reported. This just days after another EF2 tornado hit Hosford, Florida in the Panhandle. I had just gotten home from work a little while ago and just doing some laundry. I went and got in our shower, just praying that at least I would be okay. The twister part of the same system that brought severe weather to Texas on Friday. This is the mighty Mississippi gets closer to cresting. The river now at major flood stage levels across several states, including Iowa, now at more than 21 feet. Rising water prompting crucial barge traffic to a halt for weeks. And out west, near record heat in California melting Sierra Nevada snow, prompting concerns over flooding, forcing Yosemite National Park to close. Tonight, the park back open with limited services. LND 18 feet is considered major flood stage. We're at over 21 feet right now, and we have a few inches to go before the Mississippi River crests here on Monday. Lindsay. Officials seem prepared, at least, Ellen. Thank you. Let's get right to ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano. Rob, you've been tracking more severe weather in the east. Yeah, Lindsay, up and down the East Coast has been a mess today, including obviously New York, where the rain continues to come down heavily, even some intermittent lightning in spots. And just in the last hour, a tornado reported north of Virginia Beach and reports of a person trapped in their vehicle because of that. And here you see on the radar where that line of storms is, and it's going across the Marva, and there's a heavy batch that's rotating around this large low. And with this heavy rain, it's going to continue. We'll see some isolated flooding, and we'll see some wind-damaging spots, too. Tornado uh, flood watch up for much of the Delaware Valley tonight. And and then into the New England area for New Hampshire and Maine because this will kind of all swivel up and there'll be heavy rain during the day tomorrow. Behind this, it does get unsettled. So on and off showers, most of the rain in this forecast will come in the next 12 to 24 hours. Meanwhile, in the West here, those record-breaking temperatures that we spoke of, temperatures 70s, 80s, and 90s, this will exacerbate the snow melt there. And long range, this was, it will be the case over the next several days, and it'll be cooler than average here in the East. Lindsay? All right, Rob, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.